Kia ora homa. On today's video we're going to be making a wing cross section or just in layman terms a wing. Now it's going to look like like this and if this seems like you're kind of a toy and that this is going to actually do a little bit of a flight or a hover is the best way to describe it. Stick around and I'll see you in the video. So to make our wing cross section, and I call it a cross section because it is a cross section, it's not really a true wing. So if you imagine a wing being like a piece of cake, or a cake I should say, and you took a slice out of it, this is what it would look like. So this is a cross section of the wing, so it's like a slice of what the actual wing would look like. And the reason why it looks like a wing is because it's flat on the base and it's got that curved up sweep that goes to that nice elliptical over part. So what we're going to need to make our wing is you're going to need a piece of paper um, and I cut this off in A4 so this is 21 centimeters across and it is 7 centimeters wide. That's 21 centimeters long and 7 meters, 7 meters, 7 centimeters, <laughs> 7 centimeters wide. Um, and all the, the only other thing you're going to need is tape. And so what you're going to do is you're going to tape the ends together on the outside edge. Don't tape on the inside edge, tape on the outside edge and I'll show you why. So I've just gotten some tape and I've just taped it there. You can see that I've taped it there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the excess. So I'm going to pinch it here, okay, and join the two pieces, the, the tape at the end, and so it's in half. And I'm just going to cut the excess off with a pair of scissors. Um, and what I want to do now is I really want to form or f form my wing so it's really in that awesome elliptical shape. Now to do this, to get it this nice shape like it is here, I'm going to bite it. Okay, and what I mean by that is just using the tips of my incisors, okay, the teeth at the front of your mouth are incisors, I'm going to bite down on the tape end to try and um, really pinch that end together so it makes a nice elliptical shape because you can see here it's like a teardrop, a rain, uh, like a raindrop shape, but I want it to have like a flat base like that. Okay, so that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, because that's going to give us its true wing shape and get the best performance out of our wing. So stick around. I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse of me nibbling the end of my paper. So I've nibbled the end, and that's given it a really good solid point on there. And now what I need to do is manipulate the the front end curve so that um, it has a it's I want it to be like this kind of a shape if that makes sense so flatten it out so what I want to try and do is figure out where my flat spot ends and you want to try and put a very very gentle crease in the paper so not a hard crease just a gentle so you can see I'm not quite folding the paper in half I'm just pushing pressing gently on it so it creates a flat spot and the reason I do, I'm doing that is a, so it gets that flat spot on the bottom there like it's starting to come out of it now but also I don't want to overdo it and if I do make a mistake and I push too hard too far back or too far forward etc etc while I'm trying to get the right wing shape I can always put the paper back to the way it was okay so I want that oval part so it needs to it does take a little bit of tweaking. That banging is students running along my deck. If, 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 if you're watching this and it's you, you know who you are. <laughs> so, we want to try and roll that wing out too, because I'll explain the science about it in a second. But basically, that's we're getting there. It's a bit better. This will work. That's roughly, roughly what I'm going for. Okay. It's a very, very similar shape. Okay. So that's really what we're looking for. Now what happens is, as air blows over the top of the wing, um, it creates low pressure. So what that does is, not only does the, for the forces being applied to this side become much lighter, but the force of the wind up here uh, te theoretically is greater than what's being applied on the top because of the shape of the wing and that's what makes it want to lift off the ground. So 
the cool thing about this is I can blow on it front on and it wants to go up but I can also blow on it straight on the top and it's still going to want to go up so if I blow from, from the bottom up it's still wanting to lift and you'll get a much better representation of that when I stick it on a surface and show you me blowing it across a table. So we've got a side on view and I've tried to get the camera as level with the table as you can and you can see here's my first wing and I'm just going to give it a blow and I'm just going to blow on it like face on, face on to the front of the wing and you'll see it fly across the table. It's going to fly nice and straight from one end of the um, shelving unit to the other. And you can see it lift off the ground and then blow across the table. I'll do the same thing again, but this time, rather than blowing front on, I'm going to blow on it down. So the wind's going to pass underneath and still lift it up. So here we go. Okay, the same process uh, and uh, science applies. I'm going to do it one more time and I'll slow it down for you in slow motion so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So this was the second video in our series about flight. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I found making this quite fun and I was inspired by some of the students in my class. Uh, so this is a bit of a shout out to Nick, Cam and Jun. Uh, we had a lot of uh, in-depth discussions and that's kind of what the inspiration for this series about flight is about. Um, in the next video we're going to look at a game that the boys created based on a toy that they made that uses some of these principles of flight that we've been talking about in the last two um, videos. So really simple, easy, paper, sellotape and you can have a bit of fun, you can have races with your buddies um, and just you know teach other people what, how, how it works and the principles of flight and things like that. I do recommend doing a little bit more research, there's some excellent videos out there um, in the world of YouTube talking about the basics of how a wing actually works, probably a lot better than what I've explained it to you but I do recommend if you're wondering about it to go and search out the information because it's always good to find the answers to all your wonderings. But for now, ka kite anō. I'll see you next time in Mr. Ashley's place. Um, be sure to like the video, share it and subscribe. Till next time.